on behalf of TVLesson.com. Hi, my name is Athena Reich, and I'm an actress, singer-songwriter, host, and teaching artist. AthenaReich.com. In this clip on how to be a media correspondent, I'm going to talk about expectations. Being a correspondent or a host is pretty much being like any other kind of artist. There's a lot of people out there who want to do it, a lot of talent, and there's not a lot of work. So you are a success if you are making your own newscasts, posting them on YouTube, and you have people emailing you. That is a success. If you get one job and then it fizzles out and they don't have the budget to keep you on anymore, that is still a success. That's not your fault. It's important to have realistic expectations. You know, sometimes when people aren't familiar familiar with the arts and you know they've had they're used to having a job and then they think they can just get a job as a correspondent. It, it's not how the arts works. It's a tough field. It's very tough and know that. So so you have to redefine success. Success is getting, you know, a job even if it doesn't pay at all. That is success. It's a tough field, but keep at it. Now, sometimes you have a director and you're not going to be doing a lot of directing yourself, but in in some cases, you're going to be doing a lot of director. As a media correspondent, you're, you're going to be directing the scene or specifically working with your interviewee and directing them, whether you have a director or not you're the person to make that person feel comfortable. You're the one who's going to say, you know, tell your interviewee, you know, don't look at the camera, look at me, everything's going to be fine. We're going to wait for our, you know, action cue from the camera guy. You know, it, it, you, you have to be responsible and you're, you're kind of a host. Imagine that this is your, your, your world, you're comfortable as the correspondent and the person you're interviewing might feel nervous and it's your job to make them feel at ease, to break the ice, to let them know, you know, we're going to hear action from the director, we're going to hear three, two, one, and then we're going to start, and then we're going to, you know, when we end, you know, we're going to hear a cut or whatever. You can guide and be a director, and it's just like being a host at a party. You're just making that person feel comfortable. So take on that role, enjoy it, make them feel good.